Hi everyone. So today our guest is Emin Bayramlı. He's a business development manager of Bolt Business. Hello, Emin. Hello. Uh, thank you for having me in your podcast. It's very interesting to be here and uh, talk about Bolt and our mission and uh, vision. Thank you very much. It's uh, very nice having you here as a guest. So I would like to start with my first question. Tell us more about Bolt. Actually, what is Bolt? What are the Bolt services? And I think everyone knows Bolt as a taxi services, but there are much more things to talk about. So please, <laughs> yes, let's hear it uh, from you. Yes, that's true. So we actually uh, launched globally uh, more than 10 years ago in uh, Tallinn, Estonia. But now we have grown into a, a multi-billion dollar company in mainly in Europe and Africa. However, we are also expanding right now in Latin America countries as well as some Asian countries. Uh, with that being said, we are now operating in over 50 countries for more than 600 cities. Uh, we are servicing over 200 million customers worldwide. Uh, 50 countries. 50 countries, that's very true. Uh, as you've mentioned, a lot of people think it's just a taxi company, right? However, no, uh, that's not entirely correct. Uh, we are a digital platform. We are uh, in multi-vertical. What we call is we are offering a lot of services uh, under few uh, digital platforms. Uh, first of all, a main um main, uh, let's say, core of our business is ride hailing. Uh, and then we also have uh, Bolt Delivery, which is Bolt Market as well as Bolt Food. So we deliver to customers, individuals and clients. Actually, Bolt Food is becoming popular from day to day, right? Right. I, I can see the the increase of usage of Bolt Food. Uh, really? That, that's very interesting to know. I, I, I can say uh, a little fun fact. I used to be working for Bolt Food and uh, I can tell you why. Because uh, now we have entirely changed our team. Right. Uh, we have grown in number in Bolt Food as well. Uh, and we are now investing heavily into Bolt Food. So that's probably I'm going there's... to show that I'm a user of Bolt and Bolt Food. <laughs> that's that's great. That's great, and I'm thank you. Hoping uh, you're. Um, I'm you're, very satisfied. You're right. satisfied with our yep. services. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. I would like you to also mention about the Bolt scooters. They right. also play a, a huge role in uh, delivering, I guess, food deliveries, right, and uh, some other. Well. Uh, let me tell you this. So, of course, uh, Bolt Micro Mobility is one of our verticals, uh, one of our one of our new growing, but also with high potential verticals. Uh, we have introduced Bolt Micro Mobility for the end of the past year in Azerbaijan. Uh, they are not really intended intended for couriers, let's say, to deliver food, at least for now. But we are offering Bolt uh, scooters mainly for general population. However, we have increased the number of scooters we have around the city as well as parking locations. And we are working in a close collaboration with state agencies to make sure we provide easy access and safe and reliable transportation, not just with our, uh, let's say, ride hailing services, but also with uh, Micro mobility services. Actually, why I mentioned about scooters because scooters are important. They are eco friendly. Uh, yes, they are mainly for a short distance. I know, but uh, being eco friendly is a huge um, input and uh, for the sustainability issues. So I think that that's it's a, it's a, it's already a contribution to. You, you know, uh, there is a lot of truth to what you've just said. Uh, so Bolt, actually we have this uh, statement uh, internally also, we are also promoting right now uh, externally as well. Uh, we are making our services for people, for cities, not for, let's say, cars. With that, we are trying to say we are building cities for people, for them. And what in everything we do, we keep the people in priority in our in our minds. So, uh, of course, Bolt's now uh, activities are surrounded around reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. We have actually a goal uh, 
to provide carbon net zero services by 2040. And uh, we are working with international and national government bodies, agencies, private and public firms to achieve this goal. Actually, uh, I wanted to ask the second question. As we are now uh, in a period of COP29 event, it would be very interesting to know what are the BOLT's main principles and mission statements in relation to sustainability. Okay, so uh, as I've said, uh, yeah. now we are... Uh, in a period of... Uh, of COP29, COP29, right? So uh, we are also in collaboration with COP29, Azerbaijan operating company as well. So we are providing ride hailing services along with it, uh, micromobility services as well. We have drastically increased the quality of our services, both in terms of cars and also drivers. We have, uh, let's say, bring brought in a lot of electric vehicles. I would say uh, now electric vehicle, both electric vehicle program has increased in Azerbaijan, also around uh, other countries as well. Uh, and we have provided uh, more, let's say, reliable service for the city guests and as well as staff and volunteers belonging to COP29. What feedbacks I can hear that from the foreigner guests that they're saying that your taxi drivers are English speakers and, you know, that's very good to hear. I think you also prepared for that, right? You trained maybe your drivers or you had uh, some practices or you involved uh, some other um, people for this especially period. Exactly. So I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you about this. Uh, so we have had a dedicated department of uh, employees that we have uh, we, we have directed into COP29 activities uh, and we have been in close contact with COP29 operating company and its, uh, let's say, operating team to make sure all the cars and all the drivers are up to high quality standards. And we have trained our uh, drivers, of course, uh, uh, we, we were in collaboration with uh, Aina. Uh, you might heard about the, our uh, state agency for sure, yes, sure, public yeah. transport. Uh, so we are proactively taking measures to make sure, not just in COP29, but also in upcoming international or big scale events, so that we are ready to host our guests and provide ultimate and uh, like best high quality transportation services. That's great to hear that, I mean, Thank you for your amazing uh, inputs. Thank you for your uh, really information that you shared. And for, thank you for the collaboration with that event because uh, our country is hosting actually a huge event and it's, it's, it's very big responsibility for us and for every citizen and every local company. And also as a Bolt and as a business developer, I can see your inputs and I see, I see your contributions. I would like to thank you again for attending our pavilion and taking a part of our uh, podcast. Thank you so much. Uh, I, I guess I can tell you this. Azershun is also one of our corporate clients and I'm very happy to be here. Thank you for giving me a platform to speak. And on, be on behalf of Bolt Business, as well as Bolt Azerbaijan, I can ensure you we'll be working day and night to make sure we provide the best, the most affordable and most reliable services in terms of both transportation as well as delivery for both individuals and for corporate clients. Thank you so much. Thank you very Thank much. You. Hope to see you again. Thank you.